Hello everyone, welcome to this video for Notion SLE designed for Miroslav Philharmonic. What we'll be showing you today is how you can orchestrate a full orchestra arrangement using Miroslav Philharmonic instruments and Notion SLE to uh, create a powerful sounding score uh, and uh, be able to write all of the articulations uh, and uh, not have to worry about MIDI programming at all. So what we'll be starting with is a string orchestra sketch of uh, some music that um, I have previously written. And then we'll get that music and orchestrate it uh, for full orchestra right in front of your eyes and do that in less than five minutes. So right away, the very first thing you notice is that the string sketch is already um, articulated and it uses staccatos and slurs and has pizzicato indications. Uh, and they all play. So for example, if I play just this line, you'll notice that the staccato uh, indicated notes are actually triggering the staccato samples and where the slurs are triggering the sustains. Um, same thing with violas. And the cellos and basses are playing pizzicati because that's what uh, they're being asked for in the score. So everything is already pre-programmed for you in this template. Everything is ready uh, to trigger the appropriate uh, patch. Uh, and we're now going to start orchestrating this piece. Um, and for one, I'll use a standard technique, which is copy paste, cut and paste and copy paste. And I just cut the violin's one phrase onto the flute. Uh, notice that it kept all the articulations, all the dynamics when I play it back it will sound uh, with the proper patches again. So you, there's no programming that you have to do on your part. You're ready to just uh, start orchestrating this piece. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that here, uh, take this line, and get that to the oboe. Uh, and the reason I'm starting with the, with the flute and all that is because I want to start with the uh, the winds first, and then I'm going to move down to the brass and the percussion. I'm going to give that to the clarinet, so here's how they sound. Now with the flute here, I may want to do something like a tremolo mark uh, to get the uh, oops to get the flutter tone. There we go. So now we have uh, this melody assigned, and uh, but we want to get those two. We forgot to uh, paste them and assign them to. Actually, let's get the, the full line um, all the way up to here. And actually, let's leave that on the strings as well because we we have something to have something to double and uh, give that to the flute. Uh, flute one and flute two, and give the lower the lower line. Uh, give that to the clarinets uh, and the oboes, which is uh, there's oboe one, oboe two. Then we have the clarinet, clarinet two. So here we go. We have uh, the melody assigned to most of the woodwinds. Um, and what I'm going to do next is take the bass line that we have and uh, give that to the bassoons. I'm just going to copy it. I'm not going to cut. I want to keep it in the strings as well. Get rid of the pizzicato mark and uh, assign staccati to those. Here we go. I probably want to move this to uh, the contrabassoon. It's getting kind of low for the bassoon there and leave bassoon 2 the same octave for bassoon 1. So now we have strings and winds. Pretty cool. Now at this point I'd like to start adding the brass instruments. And what I'll probably do is get the violas and uh, give that viola line uh, to the horns. So again, I'm copy pasting, doing nothing else. Um, might also want to add uh, certain accents here and there, which is always a good idea. Now you notice that I'll play those accents back for you, and uh, you'll hear them 
uh, playback. So you see the notes that are actually using the accents are uh, louder. A good place for a trumpet will be to start um, at, that, at that particular place. So I'm going to get this and get that uh, to the trumpets. This is where the big tootie will come up. You'll probably get that up an octave. Yeah, that D is going a little too high there, so I'm going to keep that um, over here at this octave and then get the bassoons. Assign those to the trombones. Here we go. And uh, get the contrabassoon and assign the bass line to the tuba. Now we're pretty much done. Uh, we're going to have just a very simple timpani. Uh, going tonic to dominant here uh, through the harmonies. So we can leave that. And then snare, of course. We'll add that snare. And if I add a tremolo in the snare, I'll get that kind of thing. Maybe I have two of those here. Add that, then add some kind of variation. Here we go. And add that. So now I can duplicate that. Add a little bit of uh, uh, bass drum here. Okay, symbols. Of course, have them on triple forte. Um, have a triangle. And maybe have that triangle every two bars or so. And um, have that a bit quieter, maybe at B. A gong. Let's put a gong at the end. And the, the harp is real interesting because what we can do with the harp is uh, a lot of cool glisses. So I'm going to do one gliss over here and one gliss over here. Put the gliss there. Put some rests in. Uh, then we get to this part. What we can do is have some custom tuning. Uh, reflect what we're doing uh, with the harp. Um, so let's say we put those notes, we put those glisses in there, and put our tuning. D, C, B, then we have F sharp and G sharp. All right, and now we're ready to play. <laughs> This is how you create full orchestra arrangement with uh, nothing but standard could copy paste functions and uh, articulating your score um, and using all of the sounds of Miroslav Philharmonic together with uh, Notion SLE's uh, pre-programmed templates. Thank you so much. Hope to see you next time.